morning. This morning I am going to make, um, using my infuser, an infusion with olive oil and yep, the yellow burdock is finally dried up. So, inside my pot it has, I don't know if you can see it on the side, but it has minimum and maximum and you don't want to go across uh, the maximum line and that is for anything that goes in there so if you have a whole bunch of herbs like the dried leaves and flowers and stuff you want to really pack it in there but this is my um, yellow dock root so I'm going to put that in there because it's pretty well, it's going to be pretty well concentrated. Then I'm going to add my oil. And I want to make sure that it does not go past that line. Let's see if I can get a spatula. Get all of that in there. And the uh, root was uh, wild harvested, thanks to my loving husband that went out there and dug them up for me. Of course, we did it after it rained and saturated the ground. Okay, and this is the top, but of course, and that will be grinding it up to get all the goodies in there. And let's see right here if you can see that but th these are the settings that I'm going to put it on of course it is oil so I could do it manually or DIY I guess that's what they call it and set the temps and for how long but this one with the root I am going to set it on the oil I think it's at 160 and it will be for an hour so, let's get this in here. So that, oops, sorry guys. Let's see if I can move you over here just to see what, I don't know if you can see the, the dials. But, anyways, I explained it to you so you'd be able to make sure that it's plugged in really good. I'm doing this backwards because I'm left-handed. So we're going to select, and it's going to be on the oil, and the time is one hour. So just push start and see, I don't know if you can see how it's red when it lights up. That means it is in the position, do not open it, because it will reset. And it's hot in there. What I love, love, love about this is it stays very very cool like a just a, a light warm on the outside so I don't have to worry about kids or if I had um, a kitty that jumped up on here wherever you're going to do your infusion so so far so good I definitely love it and it's gonna get a little loud but it doesn't stay loud it just does it in cycles so, I think, yeah, there you go. See what I mean? So, if you put it in the <laughs> If you put it somewhere so that you don't hear it all the time, I got a small house. So, anyways, I'll bring you back in an hour. Okay, excuse the background noise. I got my bread machine going. Danny wanted some French toast and he always likes the homemade bread type. So that's what that's going in the background. All right, this has been gone for an hour and Glenn and I went grocery shopping.
so I know it's cool. Yeah, let's take a peek and see what's inside it. but awesome. It really mashed it up, didn't it? Okay, I will strain it and then I will label it in my jar and on to making soap. I hope this little tutorial gives you an insight on if you wanted to go and purchase one of these or you know the other one now uh, um, <laughs> I'm telling you what talk about brain farts oh my good the mighty infuser I think that's what it is this one is another brand but it's a good brand as I said before and then I'll just wipe that out and get it all cleaned up for the next batch. I just wanted to bring it out and show you guys if you can see it. It has a pretty yellow in it. Okay. On to the next step, making soap and salves. Before I say goodbye, I'm just the little bit in there like that. I'm just going to set it in this jar and just let it do its thing. Okay. All right. On to the soap. I'm doing a uh, heat. Uh, thermal heat melting of the oils so I thought I'd talk while I was just stirring for a little bit okay we have our infused oils right here that are the yellow dot and I know you're gonna ask why in the world would we put yellow dot root in soap or skin products. Uh, I'll do it like this because I'm left-handed. Well, one thing about it is when you're using it topical on top of the skin, it is considered a stringent, so it tightens the skin and the pores through cleansing it, just pushing all the impurities and everything else and just sloughing it away. And also in salve or whatever kind of skin product that you're going to put in. Uh, let's see. For soap, like I just said, it's great for acne prone skin. And it is also soothing to skin issues like eczema and sunburn 
and it just it's really soothing putting it in the soap now for salves which I took the uh, root and I didn't throw it away or anything I put it in a jar added some more oil to it I had oh it's probably about 50 50 from the infusion and I am just gonna let that sit and steep and do its thing and this is what I will be making salve with so it will give it a double whammy if you will <laughs> oh now when you put it in salves which I just adore very very good for skin issues eczema psoriasis ichthyosis skin rashes insect bites and it helps in fighting bacterial infections and you know my favorite which is hard to find uh, fungal infections so it helps with inflammation and I think it's due to you know the astringent uh, tightening of the skin and you know just kind of put pressure on it if you will like a ace bandage if you it's just a very mild form of that but when it tightens up the skin when you have inflammation or swelling so and the um, our forefathers I guess they I guess you could say that were taught by the Native Americans, all tribes, all nations, they have used yellow dot for medicinal purposes. They have lots and lots of stuff you need to go and research uh, for using it um, orally. So we're just talking here about skin. That way we stay on the safe side. But uh, there's always a controversy Especially with the yellow dock, uh, there's not been too many researches. You know, I love to read research papers. I mean, I get down into it. And then the clinical trials, I read all of, you know, how they did it, and the papers, and blah, blah, blah. But, so there really wasn't a lot on there far as um, uh, modern medicine. But let me tell you for thousands and thousands of years. Yes, Chinese and uh, in India and all of them that have had lots and lots of recordings of using it. And they had used it over and over and over so something in here must work. So we're just going to stick with the uh, skin issues and of um, all of the tribes and the nations here that taught our forefathers the medicinal purposes used every bit of it even um, you can eat the leaves you know, I wouldn't eat too much because you could get you know a build up if you will on certain things but anyways they would um, make teas and bathe in it and do all different kinds of sorts of stuff for ingestion for medicinal purposes that way we're sticking with the skin so i will bring you back when i get this done and that's the reason why i'm making burdock so in my oil solution or my lye solution excuse me i have 100 percent aloe vera juice little bit of honey, a little bit of salt, and that's it. I hope that it will stay a nice, you know, color. So, we definitely will see. All right, hang on. It's only a second for you guys. So, Danny is so funny. He's getting like his papa when it comes to milk. As soon as you open up the daggum jug, if it's... If if it's not done in two days, forget it. They kind of like, they drink it, but they kind of like hem and haw around and say, does this smell good? I thought, Danny, don't even start it, but he'll, he'll drink it. 
So, I took the last bit after we went grocery shopping and got another jug. And I used that to make his bread. So, you can have French toast. I make it up, have it in the morning. I make it up a whole bunch extra. And then I flash freeze it and then I bag it. And then all he has to do if he doesn't want cereal in the morning or an egg and a toast, he just gets in there and takes uh, two slices out. And he can put it in the toaster or put it in the microwave. So he thinks he's independent. Yes, I think that's why he likes um, French toast. And I do that with waffles and with um, pancakes. All right, enough about Danny. Oh, and happy birthday, Araya. It's her birthday today. And hello, Becky. Thanks for my little love note this morning or this afternoon and hi diesel be good to mommy don't get in any trouble today give your beautiful baby sister a big old hug and squeeze from her crazy granny and please give your baby cult a big tender hug for granny all right love you guys i forget to say that every now and then because Diesel likes to sit and watch every one of these granny movies.